hey guys welcome once again to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you an auto color grade a wedding picture uh using your lot files and your camera raw presets the preset that i made you made use of in this particular picture and the lot i'll be using will be great for you guys to get for free and also if you're interested in getting the full pack of the presets uh the link is in the description below you can get it there it's very very easy to color grade your uh wedding pictures very very nice uh this picture was taken 9 30 in the morning uh nigeria time west african time uh the picture of a couple i took some weeks back so i was in with my light i was not with my light then so it was took with natural light and uh i'm going to show you guys how, how i do the color grading of the picture so let's jump into that firstly i love to crop my picture to five by seven size so i'll click on my c to go to crop then i'll size it this step is not necessary but you can use any size you use you can choose your instagram size to use to crop it so any size you want so I'm done with the first step. The second step is now for me to go to my camera area. But before I go there, as you know, I don't love working on my background layers. I love leaving my background layer intact. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer by clicking on Ctrl J. Once I'm done with that, I'll just go to my filter. Under my filter, I'll go to camera raw settings. Then I'll wait for it to load. So we can do manual color grading, but I'm just giving you a shortcut for you guys to color grade it. Manual color grading means make use of our selective color, our hue and saturation, and also our camera area settings. So we can just do that or we can just jump straight into the preset one to use. So let me show you how I color grade using my camera area preset before we join, jump to the uh, the preset one to make use of. So I used to come to HSL adjustments this is the one that I use the most. So the reason why I use this HSL adjustments as in it's perfect for what I do. So it's separate it has like seven it has eight different colors, eight separate colors. The red is there which is this, the orange which is the skin color. Let me increase it and see what I'm talking about. You can see this is the skin color. The red which is which affects anything that is reddish, the lipstick, the bit she's wearing. So let's just adjust that and see what I'm talking about. You can see, you can see the difference, right? And now there's yellow here, there's yellow here, there's yellow here. So if I'm to adjust the yellow right now, you guys can see the difference. So you can decide to color grade it here. And also these are, I think, some are bluish in nature. So as you can see, you can see the difference, right? So I can decide to color grade it like this. And also these are our green here yeah? i can just increase my green you can see the color is changing so i can try to use this or i can just go to my settings then load my presets i'm going to load it from here load settings go to the location where i stored it then pick it up there this is my wedding preset so once i click on open right now i wait for it to load can see this is a top notch color grading but as you can see it's cute almost even the skin color is not even there yet so we are just going to adjust that i love to go with this color i can decide to change the clothes color back to any color i want but i love this color this is the color i love to use for my color grading so i'll just click on my ok then i'll wait for it to load as you can see just with our presets these are before these are after just with a single click this is what it gave us so i can just decide to work on the skin a little bit i just have to click on my curve on my layer marks over here click on it then i'll pick my brush b i can click on b or i can just go to brush and pick it i will increase the size uh, opacity i'll put it at 30 percent 30 percent 30 then i'll make sure my color is on black and I'll clean off the skin area a little bit. I'm not cleaning totally. That's why I put the brush at 30%. If not, I would have put it at 100%. So 
So I just want to clean some of the colors of the skin so that I can apply my own skin color myself. So I'll clean it up. I did not retouch this particular picture. I'm only doing color grading for now. Uh, I'm going to drop a video on how to retouch these two. I don't do much retouching. I do more of color grading and manipulation, but I do retouch too. So soon I will be dropping a video on how to retouch also from wedding pictures to studio pictures to outdoor pictures still waiting on my model to show up for me to do that then i'll be dropping a video on that you can see before and after so now we can color grade the skin separately and also i don't like the color it's giving me right there i love bluish look on my picture instead of this grayish look so we are going to adjust that by using our selective color we we'll go to our cover adjustment layer over here click on selective color currently on red right now but I don't want to work on red I want to work on the white this is the white so I just click on the red go to white all uh, right now if I'm to drag this cyan now if I'm to drag it here it's going to bring the reddish look and what I asked for is not reddish look but a bluish look so I'm going to increase it then I'm going to kill the black a little bit as you can see right now I want to turn it off before and after decolor grid it for us a little bit so i'm done with that i just have to clean uh the bluish look on the skin also as we did the camera preset as you already know it's already giving us our layer max over here so we just have to pick our brush still at 30 percent we still have to clean it off a little bit we are not cleaning anything off just for it to blend in we are just going to clean it off a little bit a little bit Clean it up a little bit. So now we are going to go to our cover adjustment layer again. You can see right now the picture is all that bright. Let's just reduce the brightness a little bit. We still have our selective color. So we'll still go back to our selective color again. This time around, we are going to our neutral. From our neutral, we are just going to drag it down a little bit. You can see, darkens the image for us. So if I'm to turn off our three layers we just worked on right now, these are before, these are after. So we got something nice, we can try to touch the picture up, as I said earlier on, I'm going to be dropping a lot fight so which I use in color grading this. So I'll go back to my cover adjustment layer, go to color lookup, under color lookup, I'm going to load it, then I'll go to my natural lights, natural lights under N, natural color I mean to say, sorry, so I click on it, as you can see right now, I did our skin color, but it's too much so I'm going to reduce the opacity. Okay, 32 percent is okay. As you can see right now, we just collaborated our picture under 10 minutes. These are before, these are after. Very easy to do and very straightforward. So the full pack of the preset is available in the description below. You can get it there. There are 40 presets for you there to use to color grade your wedding pictures, and you can also use them for outdoor also. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can contact me in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible.